out of tune. What the heck is up? My name is Ashley, aka ATO, your superstar. Today I am behind. Once again, I am late for a review when this yo yo comes out this week, so I want to get it in. So today we're gonna talk about the guitarist yo yo from Rain City Skills out Friday. Let's do it! This is what the brand new guitar yo-yo looks like. I am absolutely obsessed with this colorway. It is the only fade in the colorway. The rest are splashes and we have five. So here is what I got in the box. Guitar sticker with the official logo on it. A Rain City Skills mask. Then of course I get a string in the box. I got a Rain City Skills guitar pick. So let's talk about this guy and then let's get into who it's for and who it's maybe not for. So here is the shape here of the guitar. So you can see it's got a nice wide gap, great H shape. Um, and we've got the most noticeable aspect is this big old rim. A very classic feel to it and a lot of fun. So let's get in who this yo-yo is for. So first of all, we cannot ignore it. If you like a big rim on a yo-yo, this is your yo-yo for life. If you're big on talon grinds like I am, or thumb grinds, anything that's gonna use this lip here, this is going to be the perfect yo-yo. If you need more stability, if you're a beginner yo-yo player, if you want more rim weight on the side, um, you are absolutely going to get the weight distributed really nicely. If you like a mono metal, especially one that's this good looking, go get it. If you like finger spins, you wouldn't really guess it from this cup. However, you can get a really smooth, really long finger spin on this yo-yo. For that crew that is absolutely killing me with the tornado binds, which I'm not very good at, or DNA binds as they are on TikTok, yes. You can do that with this yo-yo. A few of our technique things, if you like to do chopsticks, you are looking at the um, wider end on this, but not necessarily the bigger end. So if you are trying to get it in between your fingers, you can absolutely do that. Rejects, you will get them every time. I think I may have yet to miss a reject on this yo-yo because it is so good at this. You would typically think, you know, organics are really good for regens, but this is actually quite good. You know, you might get a little wobble on it here and there, but I think the stability really helps it out. I would definitely give this a thumbs up for regens, which was an unexpected surprise. <music> And then for our middle ground people, this yo-yo may appear heavy and big when you see it because of the rims. However, it actually plays pretty floaty and light, which I really liked about it. Might give you a little bit more bulk on the yo-yo, but it's not going to feel like a very heavy yo-yo. The hops feel really good and um, it's a fun yo-yo to play with. Who is not gonna like the guitarist? Obviously, if you're team bimetal, this is not a bimetal yo-yo, so you're gonna lose a little bit of that. We also wouldn't necessarily say this is a competition yo-yo, right? With these bulkier rims, um, you're going to be doing stuff a little bit different and you're gonna lose a little speed. So I wouldn't say like our competition friends or our bimetal competition friends are gonna give this one an A+. Um, however, we're still gonna enjoy playing with it, especially with the classic shape, they're still going to be able to do a lot of it. If you are looking for a pocket yo-yo, no. I'm actually wearing some men's gym shorts today and as you can see, that is, uh, quite the standout yo-yo. So if you like undersized yo-yos, if you like pocket yo-yos, anything like that, uh, stay far away from the guitarist. If you're really into speed combos of any kind, I would say this is not the fastest yo-yo I've ever played with. You're probably gonna want more of a V shape for that anyway. Even though it plays a little lighter, um, there definitely is some heft to this yo-yo. Which leads us to, is this for beginners? 
So if I were to pick this yo-yo up as a beginner, what would I think of it? I think I would still get into yo-yoing. I think I would love it. I would definitely be into um, these grinds being a lot simpler. I think I would really like the flow of the yo-yo, and I think I'd have a good time with it. I think a beginner player tends to gravitate to something smaller, quicker, neon color again. This is not that. However, you can do everything you need to do as a beginner, and if you're, you know, able to deal with the added size on it, then, you know, absolutely a beginner can pick it up. I will say, when it hits you, it hurts pretty bad. Maybe not so good for beginners. This yo-yo is going to start at $60. If you're a first time player, this might be priced a little high for you. However, if you are a returner, this is priced accordingly. I would say no more, no less for this yo-yo. You're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck. You're gonna have a lot of fun with this. You're gonna be able to do a lot of different tricks and you'll have that ability to have fun with these rims. Gives it a nice classic feel to it. Um, and you're gonna have a badass looking yo-yo with these colorways. So hopefully that gives you some insight on whether or not the guitarist will be for you. And of course, if you can't decide, then why not just pick one up for yourself and try it? I will put all the details about this drop on Friday in the description so you know exactly where you can buy one. And of course, you can always purchase it directly from our team at RainZSkills.com. And don't forget, we are now selling my special edition Style Points tank top with the Punk Giraffe and Yo-Yo on it. So you can pick one of those up. Now I know I keep these reviews very general, so if you have questions or comments, please post them in the comments below. Don't forget, always be respectful my name is Ashley, aka ATO, your superstar. This is the guitarist from Rain City Skills, and we will see you next time. Go pick one up! They're awesome.